from the crocodile's dentist to the mongoose spa, Animal Partners takes a whimsical look at the symbiotic relationships of animals, large and small. Did you know the banded mongoose eats ticks and fleas that cover a warthog's body? The mongoose gets food, and the warthog gets rid of irritating bugs. In the book Animal Partners by Scotty Cohn, the partnership between the warthog and the mongoose looks a little bit different. The Mongoose Spa Free at the Mongoose Spa today, a yogurt herbal tea buffet, a mango pear tahini scrub, a fig and aloe body rub. Warthog snorts, is this for real? Banana facial, power peel? He shakes his bristly head and sighs, please just pick the ticks off, guys. Did you know the false scorpion doesn't have to walk if it wants to go somewhere? It is so small that it can catch a ride from flies and other insects by holding onto their legs. False scorpion, who's that freaky little guy clinging to the bottle fly? I know his name, but I forgot. It only tells us what he's not. We hardly know that he's among us. We never noticed if he stung us. We rarely see him riding by, clinging to that bottle fly. Did you know Egyptian plovers are sometimes called crocodile birds, based on observations that these plovers pluck bits of meat from the teeth of open-mouthed crocodiles. Scientists are still studying this relationship. In the book Animal Partners, the plover gets a special title. Crocodentist. Behold the wily crocodile. Who will scrub his pointy smile? Who will hop between those jaws, defying all of nature's laws? Some folks say a pulver's beak cleans those choppers cheek to cheek. Others say it isn't so. I wonder if we'll ever know. Read the poems, then go to the back of the book to see activities and information that will help you learn more. In Animal Partners, you'll learn how some animals form unique partnerships with different species. After all, don't we all need a little help from our friends? <laughs>